watch uh, or listen to me read the Bible it looks like you guys are gonna get some videos that has not been put up yet and y'all get to see uh, some of the stuff before I put it on the uh, internet for y'all to watch so y'all are lucky on this part I am sorry I didn't get to read the Bible last night <laughs> But it was beyond my control. But we're going to read it tonight. <clears throat> and we are on 21. So here we go. If one be found slain in the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee to possess it, lying in the field, and it be not known who hath slain him, then thy elders and thy judges shall come forth, and they shall measure unto the cities which are around about him that is slain. And it shall be that the city which is next unto the slain man, even the elders of the city shall take a heifer which hath not been wrought with, and which hath not drawn in the yoke. And the elders of that city shall bring down the heifer into a row valley, which is near or eared nor sown, and shall strike off the heifer's neck there in the valley. Hmm. In other words, take that heifer out in the in a in a um uh, valley and cut off its neck and the priest and the son of the Levite shall come near for them the Lord thy God hath chosen to minister unto him and to bless in the name of the Lord and by their word shall every con controversy and every stroke be tried and all the elders of that city that are next unto the slain man shall wash their hands over the heifer that is beheaded in the valley. And they shall answer and say, Our hands have not shed this blood, neither have their eyes seen it. Wait a minute. So if a man is found dead, or take a heifer and go in a valley and cut its neck off, then wash their hands and say, we had nothing to do with this. I'm really confused about this. When I first read the Bible, I do not remember reading this. I am wondering why this is in here. Because if you think about it, and I'll... If somebody kills somebody in the city, that everybody is guilty of it. I mean, that's the way I would. I'm I'm reading it, but I have no control over somebody else's actions. <clears throat> I, I'm really I'm really confused about this. I'm telling you, I am. All right, let's see what else. Be merciful, O Lord, unto thy people Israel, whom thou hast redeemed, and laid not innocent blood unto the people of the Israel's charge and the blood shall be forgiven them. See, they're supposed to be 
This is for forgiveness of something that you did not do. I, I don't know. I don't know. Nine. We're on Deuteronomy 21 and 9 now. And I'm confused. So shalt thou put away the guilt of innocent blood from among you, when thou shalt do that which is right in the sight of the Lord. Now, if Rick goes out and kills somebody, am, is it supposed to be on me? Two? I mean, if I knew about it, and I didn't do anything about it, yes. But if I don't know anything about it, that doesn't make no sense. I, I'm really I'm really confused about it. Alright, Tim. When thou goest forth to war against thine enemies, and the Lord thy God hath delivered them into thy hand, and thou hast taken them captive, and seeth, seeth among the captive a beautiful woman, and has a desire unto her, that thou wouldest have her to thy wife. So if she looks pretty enough to be a wife... Why well, she ain't per, uh, inside pretty enough to be a wife? One well, if she's a witch? <clears throat> then thou shalt bring her home to thine house, and she shall sa shave her head and pure her nails, cut off her fingernails. And she shall put the raiment of her captivity from off her, and shall remain in thine house, and be well her father and her mother, a full month, and after that I shall go into her, and be her husband, and she shall be thy wife. All right, so you cut off her hair, you cut off her fingernails, you let her cry about her mom, you take off her uh, clothes that she had on, and you put on something else, and then after 30 days you can go in there and she can be your wife. I don't know. This is really getting confusing to me. And it shall be, if thou have no delight in her, then thou shalt let her go whether she will. But thou shalt not sell her at all for money. Thou shalt not make merchandise of her because thou hast humbled her. Yeah, I would say so. It would be more like humiliated her. <laughs> is more what I'm looking at. <clears throat> If a man have two wives, one beloved and the other hated, and they have borne him children, both the beloved and the hated, if the firstborn son be hit hers that was hated, then it shall be, when he maketh his son to inherit that which he hath, that he may not make the son of the beloved firstborn before the son of the hated. Which is indeed the firstborn. Well, so if you have a wife, two wives, and she and the one that is hated has a firstborn son, he is to inherit everything. Not the one that is loved, but the one that is hated. Whichever one is a firstborn. But he shall acknowledge the son of the hated at for the firstborn, by giving him a double portion of all that he hath, for he is the beginning of his strength. The right of the firstborn is his. If a man have a stubborn or rebellious son, which will not obey the voice of his father or the voice of his mother, and that when they have chastised him, will not hearken unto them, then he shall his father and his mother lay hold on him, and bring him out to the elders of the city and to the gates of the place. And they shall say unto the elders of the city, This our son is stubborn and rebellious. He will not obey our voice. He will be a glutton and a drunkard. <clears throat> And all the men of the city shall stone him with stone that he die, so that thou shalt put evil away from among you. And all Israel shall hear and fear. In other words, if your kid, your boy, 
won't won't listen. To, hey, you need to quit drinking. You need to quit being rebellious against us. You need to walk in the right way. I mean, think about it. He could be doing some evil things if he'd been drinking. Okay. If a man have committed a sin worthy of death, and he be put to death, and thou hang him on a tree, <clears throat> his body shall not remain all night upon the tree. So you can also uh, hang him. Oh, man. But thou shalt in any wise bury him that day. For he that is hanged is a curse of God. That thy hand be not defiled, which the Lord thy God giveth thee for an inheritance. So he, you got to make sure that he dies that day, uh, the hanged man, and then take him down and go and bury him. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. We're on 22. Thou shalt not see thy brother's ox or his sheep go astray and hide thyself from them. Thou shalt in any case bring them again unto thy brother. And if thy brother be not nigh unto thee, or if thou know him not, then thou mayest bring it unto thine own house, and it shall be with thee <clears throat> until thy brother seek after it. And thou shalt restore it to him again. In like manner shalt thou do with his ass, and so shalt thou do with his raiment, and with all the hosts lost things of thy brother, which he hast lost, and thou hast found. Shalt thou do likewise, thou mayest not hide thyself. Thou shalt not see thy brother's ass or his ox fall down by the way, and hide thyself from them. Thou shalt surely help him to lift him up again. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man, neither shall a man put on women's garment, for all that do are so abomination unto the Lord thy God. Well, that makes it plain and clear. Women should not put wear men's clothes, and men should not wear women's clothes. And nowadays, you can most, you, I don't care, you can, you can tell the difference in them. And you, but you can't tell the difference in the person anymore because they go through all this uh, plastic surgery and uh, medication that they take to make themselves uh, be like a girl. All right, six. If a bird nest changed to be before thee in any way, in any tree or on the ground, whether they be young ones or eggs or a damn sitting upon the young or upon the egg, that thou not take the dam with the young. Huh? Don't, wait a minute. Take the eggs, but don't take the mama. That's the, I, I, I didn't know that a woman, uh, a girl, bird, was called dam, D-A-M. Oh, wait a minute. That's a cuss word. Damn. That's a cuss word. Huh. It's in the Bible, too. All right. But thou shalt in any wise let the damn go. Now, if y'all want to look at this word, it is in Deuteronomy 22, 6 and 7. All right. But if thou shalt in any wise let the damn go and take the young to thee, that it may be well with thee, and thou, thou mayest prolong thy days. When thou buildest a new house, then thou, thou shalt make a battlement for thy roof, that thou may bring not blood upon thy house, if any man fall from thence. Hmm. Thou shalt not sow thy vineyard where driver's seed, the least the fruit of thy seed which thou hast sown, and the fruit of thy vineyard be defiled. Now, I don't understand this. What, what's driver's seed? I have to look that one up. Thou shalt not blow 
an ox and an ass together. Oh, plow, sorry. That's my bad. Thou shalt not plow with an ox and an ass together. Thou shalt not wear a garment of driver's short as of woolen and linen together. So no, you're not supposed to wear wool and linen together. I like cotton myself. Uh, thou shalt make the fringes upon the four corners of thy vesture, wherewith thou coverest thyself. If any man take a wife and go unto her and hate her, wait a minute, why, you should have checked it out before you marry her, if you really want to be with her. Why would you hate her afterwards? Uh, that doesn't make no sense. Okay. And give occasion of speech against her, and bring up an evil name upon her, and say, I took this woman, and when I came unto her, I found her not a maid. Okay, if she's not a virgin, now that makes sense. If she is saying she's a virgin, and she's not a virgin, that is lying, and that is deceit. Now, I'll tell you something else, too. If any woman uses sex with her husband and I if like if she if he pisses her off that day and he wants it that night and she refuses it because she's mad that is witchcraft I learned that through the years but now you give it to him look his body is the same as your body if you want it, he has to give it to you. And if you, if he wants it, you have to give it to him. Because that's why come most people go out and they uh, go see other people to get their desire taken care of. But if you love your man enough, no matter if you're mad at him or not, you'll still give it to him because you love him enough to, for him not to want to go away from you and look for it somewhere else. Okay, I'm on 15. Then shall the father of the damsel and her mother take and bring forth the token of the damsel's virginity unto the elders of the city in the gate. And the damsel's father shall say unto the elders, I gave my, my, my daughter unto this man to wife, and he hateth her. And lo, he had given occasion a speech against her, saying, I found not thy daughter a maid. And yet they... Let's see, yet those are the tokens of my daughter's virginity, and they shall spread the cloth before the elders of the city. All right, now, now, this, I, I'm going to go into the marriage right now, and let, and let you see what is, uh, what it's like when a man and a woman gets married back in those days, when, if she's a virgin... Then when she has sex for the first time, she will bleed. And it will be on the, um, on the sheets. Okay? So, um, that's how they can say this is the token. This is her. Because they will do it at the wedding. When a man and a woman have sex, they that that's marriage right there. They are together. And if you have sex with a hundred people, then you are married to that hundred people. I didn't realize that until after I read the Bible and I and I started breaking it all down. Okay, here we go. You give your soul away. You don't really want to give your soul away either. Alright, eighteen. And the elders of the city shall take the man and chastise him. And they shall admire him with a hundred shekels of silver, and give him unto the father of the damsel, because he hath brought up evil name upon the virgin of Israel, and she shall be his wife. He shall not put her away all his days. In other words, he has to stay with her. If he lied on her, he has to stay with her. But if this thing be true, and the token of virginity be not found for the damsel. Then they shall bring out the damsel to the door of her father's house, and the man of her city shall stone her with stones that she die, because he hath wrought 
folly in Israel and play a whore in her house, her father's house. So shalt thou put away evil from among you. 22. If a man be found lying with a woman married to a husband, and they shall both of them die, both the man that lay with the woman and the woman, <clears throat> so shalt thou put away evil from Israel. If a damsel that is a virgin be betrothed unto a husband, and a man find her in the city and lie with her, then, he, then ye shall bring them both out into the gate of that city, and ye shall stone them with stones, that they die. And the damsel, because she cried not, being in the city, the man, because he hath humbled his neighbor's wife, so that thou shalt put away evil from among you. But if a man find a betrothed damsel in a field, and the man force her and lie with her, then the man only that laid with her shall die. But unto the damsel that thou shalt do nothing, there is in the damsel no sin worthy of death. So if she's being raped in the city, and she cries not, then she needs to be stoned. But if the damsel is out in the field and a man comes and rapes her, he gets stoned. <clears throat> All right. I'm right in the middle of 20. <clears throat> For as when a man rises against his neighbor and slay him, even so is this matter. For he found her in the field, and the betrothed damsel cried, and there was no one to hear her, or no one to save her. If a man finds a damsel that is a virgin, which is not betrothed, and lay hold on her, and lie with her, and they be found, then the man that lay with her shall give unto the damsel's father fifty shekels of silver, and she shall be his wife, because he hath tumbled her. He may not purr her away all his days. A man shall not take his father's wife, nor discover his father's skirt. In other words, you don't lay with your mom or your stepmom or anything like that. Alrighty, I'm going to call it quits on this. This is where I'll be reading 23 tomorrow. <clears throat> I'm confused about some of this stuff. I'm telling you I am. I am getting really confused about it. Alright, I hope you enjoy. And we'll do this again tomorrow night.